Okay, so let's grab him down. Let's take him down. Let's take a deer down. Our first actual dangerous raid. <laughs> um. Okay, Brute, Mr. Brute, let's fight. You have no chance one-on-one -on -one with me. Okay, so we're saying goodbye to this little base. It's been nice, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Welcome back, everyone, to Hardcore Permadeath, Valheim. We are doing... Uh, we can't sleep. Oh, we can't sleep right now. <laughs> okay. We are doing some crazy challenge here. You're going to have the world settings on the screen. I want to especially thanks to... I want to especially thank you, Kate, for uh, being a member of this channel and for supporting directly this channel. So, uh, all of that aside, now it's time to have some fun. I've gathered some... Uh, Oh, we're getting, we're getting our first raid, or second raid of the game. I've gathered some um, resources here and there. Let me see how we're doing on the meat here. We're doing fine. Oh, we're doing super great. Yeah, I've farmed a lot in the meadows. I'm going to show you some um, some images from there. I'm going to show you some uh, some footage. Basically, this is what I've farmed. So all these chests are filled up with wood. All of, them, all, of them, yeah, all of them, and that's all the stone that I was able to get. It's stacked nicely right there. Hey, 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 hey. Leave my bees be. <laughs> that's not the way. Come on, I thought we were friends here. Boink. Okay, so <laughs> let's, just, let's just wait for the raid to calm down. Like I said, I've gathered all those resources, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So much we got, so, so many resources. We're gonna move to a bigger base in this episode. We're gonna have our permanent base in this episode. We're gonna wall it up. I'm gonna build a large wall around it, and things uh, things will will look pretty nice. I'm hoping that. Um, come on. Uh, I've played some. Uh, <laughs> I've played the other class. Hold on, I need to clear my voice. Uh, I've played the other class, the assassin class, on my main world, uh, my, my main seed, so I'm pretty skilled with the knife now. Because I was doing knife only for a few days in that on that save. But yeah, so uh, we're doing good on the knife. I also want to build the stack breaker for AoE damage and uh, maybe the add gear. I don't know if I'm going to build the add gear. But the knife, that's definitely going to happen. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on. Yuck, yuck. There we go. Oh god, I'm killing next. I'm killing the cuteness. That's another boar. I the only thing I'm doing the reason I'm going for these guys is uh Because they're way too close to my base for my own comfort and they're gonna attack the bees like you saw right there. I'd like my bees to be safe. Ooh, I want that deer. Let's see. Can I get it? I don't know if I can. Oh my god, that was an epic fail. Like I said, <laughs> I'm not good with the spear. So yeah, for all uh, for uh, everyone who thinks that the spear, ooh, you promised us a ranged playthrough. Why are you using the spear? Well, for instances like that one, I know you can sneak behind a deer and get it. But for every flying enemies, for instance, these guys, you can't get them unless you have the uh, spear. Okay, but I'm wasting time here. Time, 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 time. <laughs> We're getting back to the base. We made a lot of progress. I haven't played this in about uh, almost two weeks now. It's almost two weeks. Jesus. So, um, yeah, we need to get back to the melee run. I wanted to post three videos on the week. It's just a bit too much for me. I can't film, record them and post them three times a week, but I will do two times a week. That's doable. And that's just fine. So we can do here like a 13, the rest can go in here. 
we're full up on this one we're full up on these one. oh my goodness we're having we're having a blast here i forgot how much i farmed in this world off the camera so i got look at this i've got a lot of uh, resources because i was i was a bit upset i didn't have enough uh, deer hide and everything else what were my trophies my trophies are here okay good just waiting for the rest of the buff and we can start working on the actual base and i'm kind of looking forward to it where is my hoe the most powerful tool in the entire game. Behold it, folks, the mighty hoe. This is actually, without joking now, the most uh, important weapon, tool, call it whatever. It's both. <laughs> Shield in uh, Valheim. All, all together, all combined. So the hoe. Okay. Now, we haven't defeated the Ikthyr yet, for obvious reasons. And I nor nor do I intend to do so until uh, unless I'm ready to go into the forest for uh, res for mining resources in the forest. I do want to extend this base just a bit here and there. Even if it's not perfectly flat right now, I can take care of that once I get my pickaxe. I can't do it right now with this uh, with this thingy, just with the hoe alone. So not much. We just extended just just a tiny bit here. Not gonna spend too much time on this. I'm just looking around to see where can it can, where can it actually be extended. So we can go this way a bit more. Not much, just a tiny bit because I don't want to. Uh, I'm gonna have a video on how to use the hoe properly with all its uh, quirks and features. So everything that the whole the hoe helps add, we're gonna. Squeeze it into one episode, one episode really, one video <laughs> focused on episodes. Okay, that that will do it for now. We can extend later. We can totally do that. So the first thing that I want to do is get my wall around the base. And in order for me to do so, can I grab a hundred? Oh, we can grab a hundred. Cool, cute, cool, cute. How much is this way? Oh, a hundred, okay. So I want to raise the wall around here. One, two, three. And we can go with five. Four. Hmm. Should we go with four now? Because I don't think I have enough rocks. Let's see. Okay. That was not that good. Nor, nor am I good here. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, we can do that. I don't think that this is climbable in any regard. Yeah, we can do that. I'll be back. I will be. I <laughs> can't talk. I will be back with you when I uh, when I get this done. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> I've finished. I'm walled up in here. We're uh, we're totally resisting any raid right now so we're totally safe in here i do need to move my house i do need to move my entire house all these chests they're all in the wrong position here because the house should be right here in the middle i can't get rid of these rocks right now so <laughs> come on i really needed the pickaxe at the same time i don't want to get totally raided <laughs> what do we do here Okay, let me just get the pickaxe. Let's get Ike here. Ah, screw it. Because <laughs> since we have the wall, we're safe to uh, we're, we're safe to do anything that we want. Okay, so let's just leap on it. And first thing in the morning, we're going for uh, our pickaxe. I'm not even gonna call it Ike here anymore. I'm just gonna call it the pickaxe. We're gonna go and defeat the pickaxe so we can get our uh, tools. Right, so uh, like I said, we're gonna do a combination of sledgehammer for the AoE attacks. I've worked on some tests with the sledgehammer and it's totally crushing it. But if you cut, <laughs> if you cut that one. Um, okay, so sledgehammer. Sledgehammer for the blunt damage and AoE damage. We're gonna use the club a lot, since the frostner and all the other weapons are gonna be super useful. We're gonna increase the club skill and also the hammer goes, the two-handed uh, hammer goes, um, raises, oh my god, what am I talking about? <laughs> it's the same skill with the clubs, right? So it's this one, clubs, for um, two-handed hammers. 
And we're gonna use for the slash and pierce. We're gonna use this the flint knife because I'm super super happy with this one. You can do some sick combos with this one. And yeah, like this. So uh, <laughs> well, let's just do that. I'm gonna drop the hoe here actually. I'm needing. I'm gonna need two of these. Or I don't know. I think two of these. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, we're good. I haven't played this in a while now, and like I said, I think I might have forgotten where the actual Ike there is. Is it up here? Is it just up here? No. I don't think it's up here, because I didn't see it when I... Oh yeah, let me show you the area we've cleared. Oh, it's a bit foggy though. So we've cleared this large area. This is all the wood that I've gotten into those chests. All this entire chunk of the forest has been transported and stored into those chests. So we have enough wood for the base now. I'm not gonna do for the core wood unless it's super duper necessary with the base. I think we can craft the base. We can craft, really? We can build the base without the core wood. Although core wood is nice for the structure. I didn't want to go into the dark forest uh, without me actually recording it. So that's that. Where is my Ike here? Oh, come on. It was around here somewhere. Oh, 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 wait, we are on the island. Oh my goodness. For some reason I had that, oh my god. <laughs> right, we are on an island, there's no Arctia here. See, like I said, I haven't played this in a while, so, oh, we need to sail back to the mainland. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Goodness gracious. So we need to go back to the mainland to defeat the Aikthir. Oh god. Okay, I'll be back with you when I get there to the Aikthir location because this is going to be quite a journey. I did find a rather large perch here. <laughs> Still work. Oh, oh, oh no, no. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm so silly. Oh, come on. I could have gotten a really large purge. I was just standing there for me to press E on it and it just slipped into the water. Oh my god, it's just like I feel like a total failure for, for fail army on YouTube. Oh no. So I went the, the wrong way. I went the other way. I went the wrong way. So uh, yeah, my boat is somewhere there and that's the mainland. Right, so I missed that. <laughs> I went toward the Black Forest. Like I said, I haven't played this in a while, so uh, yeah, I'm not going the right direction here. I also decided to switch on the club so we can raise the club skill a bit more. Right, okay, so now now I'm, I remember, now I remember. So this is what happens if you don't play it for uh, too much time, if you don't play a world too much time and you have no map. It's kind of hard to figure things out. Okay, I'll catch you back when we actually land on the Ikethir spawn location. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're here. Look at this. Look at this. Our small little outpost. We can actually repair things in here. We got our nice rested buff. I, I grabbed some stone and some wood on the road here, but I forgot about this cozy little outpost that we had early on. Let's just repair it. It's kind of feel weird. So uh, we can show people that we actually lived here and we took great care of this little outpost. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, 12 minutes of the rested buff. Are there any resources here that I need to grab back? Not really, no. <laughs> actually, actually, I'm going to deposit some resources in here. Right, so if I recall correctly, that road takes us back to the stones. And somewhere around here is supposed to be an Ikethir. And I said Ikethir spawn location? What was wrong with me? That's his altar. Right! <laughs> that was super convenient, super close. Actually, I can see my house from here. The little outpost. Can I? Yeah, it's around, around there somewhere. Okay, so let's grab him down. Let's take him down. Well, let's take a deer down. I'm gonna try and use the... club on it. I'm not sure if it works. 
Oh, yeah, it works. Look at that. We're chunking him up. Come on, come here, come here. Come here. You big goof. <laughs> come on. Oh, no, you're doing your, your slam attack. Come on. Nah, uh nah, uh The only thing I hate about this little boss is uh, b the fact that... Come on. Ow. Okay, you kind of hurt. <laughs> right, so... Um, I hate to do this, but we need to... We need to spear him. What are you doing here, Bambi? We need to spear him down. Doesn't want to comply. Doesn't want to comply to my... <laughs> <laughs> to my spearing skills, to my clubbing skills. Also, the club is kind of slow for this. One almost got me here. Come on. We're doing this, friend. Come on, in your bum. Show me that cute deer ass. Actually, you're not a deer, you're... Come on, look at this. Ugh. No, that's not happening, friend. I don't think you like the pierce damage. Some guy told me on the internet. Called Wikipedia. Or uh, <laughs> Valheim Wiki. <laughs> I think the blunt damage is neutral. Hold on, let me, let's just check. Is the blunt damage? Oh no. It doesn't have any resistance. It's just I'm dealing less damage with the... Um, hold on, let's get rid of the knife. Let me knife you up. Let me slice you up. Ooh, the knife should have a bleeding effect. That would be awesome to have a bleeding effect on the knife. Same on the sword. Also, the clubs should have... Uh, that would be us actually nice. The clubs should have armor penetration, or the sledgehammer should have armor penetration as the clubs. You missed me by that much. Actually, let's raise the spear level a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna take his uh, head back to the... Come on. Instead of facing me, you keep running away. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna throw the spear at you. Oh, I'm so gonna throw the spear at you. Wee. Now I have no weapon. <coughs> there. It's over, my friend. You've lost. That was the least epic battle of them all. But I'm here for your head and for your antlers. Okay. Whew, that was a hard fight. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna get back to the little outpost. Let me see, where's my outpost? Oh, there's my outpost. Ooh, mushrooms. Keep getting distracted, I feel like... Oh yeah, right. So the last episode, the last episode, when I played off the camera, um, and gather all the resources in the forest, slaying a ton of boar and everything else. I felt like a... Um... Hold on. Grab my... Let's eat here. I feel like a Red Riding Hood went berserk on the wild of... on the <laughs> wildlife of the forest. And also I grabbed and farmed a ton of mushrooms, a raspberry and everything else. Now, I, I need to go back to the stone location. That's gonna take me a lot of time. And I'll catch you back when we get there. Feels like an eternity. This road is super, super long and with no portals. Ugh. But yeah, so it, it is the ultimate challenge though, so... No portals, I said. There are no portals, so we're gonna have to walk it off. Look at that. Our first boss. Oh my god, I said sure. <laughs> okay, yay, cheer. Cheers, mate. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You're gonna be a problem. You're gonna be no problem. Uh, you're gonna be the ultimate problem. And that's gonna be impossible. This is easy. And that might be easy too. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Well, let's get back to base quickly because the night falls upon us. I mean, back to the outpost. And after the outpost, in the morning we're gonna sail back home.
I did activate the Ike Theor buff, because why not? Since we got it, might was might as well use it. And let's sleep here until tomorrow morning. Hope we're not getting raided here. Because I have no walls, and I have to run for it. <laughs> Can't fight anything in here. So the only danger is now the next raid. And the only danger from the next raid is the actual shaman. We can grab some wood from here. Since we came all this way. Might as well. Okay, so let's run for it. Run for the boat. I'll catch you back when we get home. Look at that. The wall of safety. <laughs> I feel super safe at this point. Wee, look at that. Oh yeah. Now I, I monsters might be able to climb through here. I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh my god, that was wonky and weird. <laughs> okay. But now that we have the pickaxe, well, let me deposit everything else. Grab the hoe here. Okay, so now I feel actually safe. I don't have enough wood on me. Also, I need just one of these, so the rest can go to random, I guess. I had wood on me. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> no problem. We can fix it. It's fixable. Oh, plenty of plenty of resources. Also got a ton of dandelions. I feel like gathering dandelions as a, a recurring thing. It's an important thing right now. <laughs> so. well, let's get the pick. No more jokes. No more fooling around. There is a mosquito in my room, so thank 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 God it's not a death mosquito. Okay, I'm gonna take care of the rocks. I'm gonna take care of. Oh my goodness, the honey. Oh right, so I flung them up. Hold on. We're gonna take care of everything else. Take care of the honey. Take care of the bees. We can have the bees somewhere else, like here. Is this okay? No, yeah, it's fine. We're gonna have honey for days, so I'm not worried about honey at this point. Nor ever in the future on this save. I'm gonna take care of the rocks, like I said, here. We're gonna move everything else to that side. We're gonna destroy this thingy. Deposit, in, deposit the house in a chest. The entire house in a chest, okay. That's, that's, that's realistic. And... Uh, I'm gonna start working on the new base. So I'll be back with you after we we've accomplished all of the above. Let me just find the right spot for the honey. Yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna have some extra honey here, so no, it's fine, let's keep it on us. Would you look at that? Our first actual dangerous raid. <laughs> um, how can I put this? Like I said, they can climb on the wall. So, oh, so they can climb on there. Okay. Where? There? Okay. All right. So they can climb through here. Why well, haven't I... Let me just see where they're climbing on. Okay, so right there, right there, right there. Okay, got it. We're just gonna wait the raid out. We. And after they're done... Okay, that's a good thing that this happened. Now I know where they can climb up on. I should have had much taller walls, but we can do that later on. We can I can raise these walls super super tall. We can make them super high. Yeah, so they can climb through there. So right down there. Okay, got it. See, that's that's too low. If you're gonna have a maze and stuff like that created with a hoe, see even here, if we, even if we have a breach in, <laughs> we're still safe to go. Hey, you're gonna leave my chest be, sir. Yeah, they're they're all they're only going for the bees, so they destroyed one beehive. 
it's fine. As long as we run around, everything is fine. Okay. Okay. I was just focusing there because there were three on me. Whoo! Oh, right. Okay, now we know that they can climb in here, so we're not totally safe as I thought. These guys are kind of hard to take on. Actually, these are my first great wars that I'm taking on. And they're right inside my base on top of the walls. Right, so they can climb on these structures. Okay. Let's repair the beehives. Actually, the beehives helped a lot with the attack. Okay, so let me just get the rest of the buff going. Actually, before doing that, let's fix this problem so we don't get that situation again. Wow, that's super easy for them to climb on. Oh! Yeah, that's super easy. Also, this might be easy too. No? No? And but for some reason, this is like a ramp here. So we're gonna ramp it up. Well, let's see how they climb now these walls. I really want to see how they climb on these walls. And my, <laughs> they might actually see them climbing on these walls pretty soon, so... Me and my filthy mouth. Okay, now, can they climb through here? What are you still doing here? Yeah, topside. Okay. Can they climb through here? They can. Oh, that's great news. You know what? The actual problem is this. This is the actual problem. The fact that I don't have a flat terrain around the walls, so, uh, yeah, this is totally the problem. Okay, so we had a breach. We had something to talk about now. We actually have something to talk about. Can I not get stuck in a wall? That would be amazing. Like, how tall do these walls need to be? I'm gonna make them super tall. So they can't climb here anymore. Right, so let's get back, let's get the rested buff, and if anything happens, I'm gonna be back with you like that raid. If not, I'm gonna catch you when all this is finished. So we're getting another event in the middle of the night. I've successfully managed to raise the entire walls. Let me grab the torch. As you can see, very, very tall walls this time, so we're not playing around. I've used up all the remaining stone from here. I've also created this safe spot where we can have our bridge. As you can see, they're having a hard time <laughs> coming in here. So it's kind of impossible for them to come in here at this point. They can throw rocks. This is why I created this wall here. So we are safe from any projectiles. Like I said, see, they are trying to find a path and they can't climb, they can't climb here. So it's impossible for them. So it finally works. The, the defenses friendly work. I was so surprised when I saw them coming from there. On, on they, they climbed up on that. Okay, so let, let me put it differently. The walls were about half as high as they are now. So they were just chilling, as you can see. They were just chilling, uh, climbing there and chilling on my wall. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Now they're finally, they're finally here. They're finally done. They're done. Look. They're all trapped down there. We can go in there with a sledgehammer and have a nice time with them later on. 
Now, in order for me to get the sledgehammer, I'm going to need to do some uh, weird tricks with the trees to grab fine wood. I'm not going to venture into dark forest for uh, boats and stuff like that. Since I don't have a bow, I don't have anything else. Yeah, so that's that. That's the event. I think we can go and clear them out right now. Yeah, there's plenty of them right there, so it's kind of dangerous. Can I sleep on it? Let's see. Oh, really? You can't sleep on it? You need to clear them off? Okay, so let me see if I can clear these guys out. Ooh, there's a brute too! Yeah, you tricked me! You tricked me into thinking that there was no one left in here. Okay, so let's fight! Okay, Brute, Mr. Brute, let's fight. You have no chance one-on-one -on -one with me. Ooh, <laughs> that landed on my back. Ow, my spine. <laughs> I've lost my spine there. Come on. I'm here. Come here. You're done. See, one-on-one, -on -one, you have no chance. Unless you get your backups, that is... Look at them! I can't go down there, what do I do now? These guys kinda hurt. Uh, I might have gotten myself into some trouble here. <laughs> no, it's fine. Whee! <laughs> okay, I don't need to sleep. I can uh, go on with building my base and everything else. And once I get the sledgehammer, I can go and take care of those guys. Yeah, we can t totally do that right now. I also am full up on resin, I need to drop some resin, so let's just throw that away. Okay, if anything else happens, I shall let you know. Okay, so we're saying goodbye to this little base. It's been nice, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> the early base definitely helped us a lot. But it's time for the base to go down, and we're gonna build a better one, a larger one. That's gonna feel even, even more um, efficient than this one does. So I might take care of that, take care of that, I think the workbench is in the way. Let's get another workbench here so we can start working on the main base. So one workbench there. One workbench here, and that's how you ensure that you're gonna have a ton of raids. <laughs> it's fine. So I'm gonna be start working on the actual uh, base right now, the main base. And I'll be back with you when it's finished. I'm gonna have a special episode on the channel with the base building. So if you wanna know and see how I've built it, it's gonna be there pretty soon. Okay, so uh, that is our house. I'm finally finished. Two hours later. <laughs> it just took me two hours. We've had several raids and the enemies got stuck here and the ones that th did get stuck here, after a while they despawned. I don't know what happened with them. So they just despawned as well as all of the monsters from the raids. They just run away and despawn. But this is the base. This is how it looks like from outside. I'm gonna show you a bit more from here. And like I said, we're going to have a separate episode if you want to build this and if you want to have this uh, for your own base. This is the permanent, the ultimate base, like it can take you all the way up to the end of the game. It is suited with every, everything for every single one of you. So it has tons of storage, tons of uh, space inside. But like I said, it's a 4x8 with an adjacent kitchen uh, area of a 4x2. So this is how it looks, this is the entrance. I've set the entrance to this side because we're gonna have all the forge and everything in here. Obviously we're gonna need to expand for the garden and everything else, but this is how it looks like. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour. I haven't actually uh, been able to move all the items in here. Like you see stairs here, some storage for random here, 
from a random items, gold goes in there. You have all your biomes here, starting from the meadows all the way up to the ashlands and deep north, which we don't have. <laughs> but you can see, so there are four chests for each biome, more than enough storage. Over here is the working area. We're going to have our forge there, our workbench here, uh, golder table here, black forge if you're going to make it there. And some extra storage items or extra storage chests here on top of, of your uh, working area. Ingots for tools for everything else. Moving on to the kitchen. Place two, two large spots there, two large. Um, we're gonna have two fermenters there. So we're gonna have a large space for fermenters. Veggies, meat, chests for food. Here will be the hearth with all the upgrades. We're gonna place them on. Um, how are these things called? <laughs> wood floors. One by one wood floors. We're gonna place the upgrades. Also, all of these upgrades, I'm going to need to craft more, I'm going to need to cook more food. All uh, all the other upgrades for the workbench, for the forge, can go in here underneath. So this is the old, the trick, the old trick where you stack your uh, upgrades underneath. And that's how you save a ton, a ton of space. I'm going to take you to the bedroom here. Nothing fancy here, just a small bedroom where you can have all your items that will give you the rested buff. So maxed out rustic buff. I haven't even claimed the bed. Not that it matters, because if we're gone, we're gone. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like we're gonna die pretty soon, so all this effort might be in vain. I'm gonna play super careful though, but uh, this is it. This is the episode, so thank you all so much for watching. Next episode, we're gonna actually go for some action. We're gonna go and craft the, um, what is it called? The two-handed hammer. Oh my God, stag breaker. <laughs> yes, yeah, stag breaker. So we're gonna craft that and uh, we're gonna go for some dungeons. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. We can do some dungeons in there. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next episode where, like I said, we're gonna have a ton of actions in the Black Forest. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.